You're watching Guitar Problem. I'm Aaron, and this is my bass guitar collection. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at my basses. So first, I've got an Ibanez Iceman. It's an ICB 300. And you'll notice mine has a Kaler bass tremolo. I sent a picture of this to the Kaler Facebook page, and they said they'd never seen an Iceman with a Kaler tremolo before, so probably not a whole lot of these. This is my Ibanez Lawsuit Era SG copy that is non-factory fretless, but whoever made it a fretless did a great job. I believe it's called an Ibanez 2354LB, but not totally sure off, off the top of my head. Now this brings me to my babies, my collection of Tobias basses. Tobias are some of the finest bass guitars ever made. This is my Tobias Growler, my only American made bass. Sounds great, looks great, plays great, love this bass. Moving on, these two are Toby Pros. They were made early after Gibson purchased Tobias when they were still putting out high quality, amazing Tobiases. These are both uh, neck through, they're active and have great preamps. I ordered this one offline and I was rather disappointed to know somebody had swapped out the stock pickups to these EMGs and they'd rewired the preamp, which I don't know why you would do that. These are amazing bases that don't need anything swapped out on them. They're both uh, neck through. These are my only neck through bases and I had to order this one because it has the freaking coolest neck I've ever seen on any freaking guitar. Look at that thing, it's like a freaking Sith lightsaber. Love this bass. But the Honey Burst or the brown one right there at Toby Pro, that is the finest bass I've ever owned. It plays better and it sounds better than any bass I've ever owned. Alright, let's keep it moving. This is an Ibanez TR75. It's got a Jazz and a Precision pickup. I've swapped out for active EMGs. It's currently got this uh, 99 cent sparkly sticker thing from Hobby Lobby on there. This is my kids Ibanez Micro Bass. I've got set up with flat wounds for their little hands. This is my Ibanez 5 string fretless. I believe it is a Ibanez SR375 I think. Not sure off the top of my head. This is my Ibanez SRKP4, the base with uh, the built-in chaos pad. If you get you one of these, unplug it when you're not using it. This sucker destroys batteries. You'll have to change your batteries every day. I've also got the guitar model of that, too. All right, let's keep going. This is a Warwick Corvette double buck rock base. It plays great. I love the bridge and nut system of Warwick's. Uh, mine has a short in this volume pot that cuts out bad and I should get fixed at some point. This is my Ibanez BTB 5 string. Great bass. This was my main bass for like 10 years. I took this thing around the world with me in the army. I recorded a bunch of songs in my tent while I was deployed to Africa with this bass. Only real complaint with it is I don't like this, uh, whatever finish they use on the hardware, it tarnishes and uh, fades with time. This is the base that made me just start preferring black hardware because it stands the test of time better, but still a great base. This is my Parker Hornet base. I love this base too. I got it for a steal at a pawn store. Sounds good, plays good, looks good, and it's super light and ergonomic. You can balance it on one finger with the uh, strap button on the horn there. I love it's got the uh, neck adjustment right there, like the Stingray basses. All right, this is my acoustic bass. It is a Santiago SQAB2 QBL. It's got this nice flame maple finish, this nice abalone around the uh, sound hole there, and then an amazing inlay, which is 
flowers and plants and a freaking green dragonfly there. Love this bass. And I got it for a steal. This thing was at Guitar Center for $129. And I was like, uh, yes, please. And they had just gotten it like an hour before and I purchased it. All right, this is my Trabin Greg Week signature model. Great bass. I bought this to uh, fill the hole in my heart when my Sterling Stingray got stolen. Somebody smashed out my window and stole it out of my car. It was great. But this bass sounds good. I like the humbuckers, the preamp, everything. Trabin basses are kind of underrated. And last but not least, my Ibanez ATK Prestige. Uh, it's currently set up with the low four strings of a five string set. And this one's very special to me. It's my most recent bass purchase. And this bass used to belong to Mark Young of Head PE. One of my favorite bands. Go look up Head P if you're not familiar with them. They're great. And also, you know, Mark Young recorded a couple albums with this bass. He toured the world with this bass. And it still blows my mind that it's in my house. I was lucky enough to purchase it from him. Look up, like, pretty much any older Head P E video. This bass is in it. So, there it is. There's my current bass guitar collection as of 2017. This is Guitar Problem. I'm Aaron. Like and subscribe for more guitar videos. Thank you so much.